Hello, my name is Jean-Christophe Carret. I am the head of the Hydronic College in Electronics for IMI Hydronic Engineering. And today I'm going to talk to you about an innovative solution for changeover with six wave valves. Nowadays, a typical solution for changeover systems involves a six wave valve with its own actuator. The six wave valve is used both for switching the terminal unit from the heating to the cooling network and vice versa, as well as to modulate the flow. The drawback is that the six wave valve has to be able to control the flow in a stable and accurate way, allocating a part of its opening to heating and a part to cooling, typically 30 degrees of opening to each. Another issue is that different KV values are needed for the heating and the cooling port of the six-way valve, requiring to get as many as 25 different versions for each dimension of the six-way valve. Additionally, in order to provide the right flow in heating and cooling to this system, balancing needs to be achieved both in the hydronic heating network and the hydronic cooling network. For IMI Hydronic Engineering, the changeover solution involves a six-way valve, the actuator of the six-way valve, a pressure-independent balancing and control valve called TA modulator, a digitally configurable actuator called TA slider. TA slider is connected to the actuator of the six-way valve to be able to take control of it, and is power supplied by the network. An input signal in the form of the typical 2 to 10 volt signal allows to control the changeover from heating to cooling and reciprocally, as well as modulating both in heating and cooling according to the demand. TA slider is a digitally configurable actuator that we can configure by connecting TA dongle to it and making use of a smartphone, allowing to parameterize which flow has to be reached when the actuator is switched to cooling mode and which flow has to be reached when the actuator is switched to heating mode. I am now going to operate the changeover system. I'm making use of a signal generator to provide a 2 to 10 volt signal to the slider 160 plus actuator. If I am increasing now the voltage, for instance, to about 3.4 volts, we can see that the actuator is proportionally controlling the flow so that we get to intermediate values. And the higher I am increasing the voltage to the slider actuator, the less flow I will get up to a value of 4.7 volts where we should get basically no heating flow any longer. And we are going to check this. I am going to 4.7 volts just like here. And you can see indeed that we get to zero flow in it. If I am continuing to raise the input voltage, I am simulating the fact that the system of control asks the terminal unit to switch itself to cooling. And as the voltage will go above 6 volts, which is the triggering value for the relay, we are going to observe that the six-way valve actuator is starting to move to the opposite direction. We can also note that when increasing the voltage to the start of the cooling area, we are getting the LED of the slider actuator switching to blue value, indicating that we are in cooling mode. In the meantime, you can observe that the actuator has already moved a part of its way to switch to the cooling network. If I am continuing to increase the input voltage to cooling, I will get to higher flow and I am here just getting to the maximum which is 10 volts and when the actuator of the six-way valve will have completed its switch, we will be able to observe that we get to the right flow.
As you could see, the setup of our changeover solution involving a six-way valve, a pressure-independent balancing and control valve, and a digitally configurable actuator allows to get very easy balancing by simply dialing up the flows for both heating and cooling in an app. And that delivers high NRVH efficiency thanks to the high quality modulating control we get in both heating and cooling.